you see some of the properties of a magnet. See here, okay? So this, what is this? It's a magnet. How can you know that it is a magnet? Because it attracts some pieces of metal. So it is attracted. So this is a magnet. We shall see some of the properties of a magnet. What happens when it is kept suspended freely? So when you suspend a magnet freely, if you just tilt this magnet, It comes to rest in uh, only in a specified direction. What is the direction? North and south. So whatever the magnet you take, it comes in the same. It comes to rest in the same direction. That is north and south. Okay. The end facing north is called the north pole of the magnet. The end facing south is called the south pole of the magnet. So, so up to what extent does the magnetic effect is felt by any any other uh, magnetic substance? You can uh, observe it. By a small experiment. Okay. I am just placing a magnet under this, under this paper and you shall see the experience of this uh, magnet with magnet. So, what do you feel, what do you get, what do you observe is the main point you have to see here. So what do you observe? You find, you seem that the iron point what has sprinkled here is in the form of some lines. So why these lines are happening? The reason behind is, there is a field around this magnet which is called magnetic field where the other substance experience the force of the magnet. Okay, the magnetic attraction. So that is uh, seen in the form of what? Magnetic lines, imaginary magnetic lines that we are just able to see with this with a little bit of sprinkling of this iron So What I have used iron films. So uh, the imaginary lines are nothing but it shows the magnetic field around around the magnet. Okay. So this is a magnet. Already we have uh, suspended this magnet freely. So you, you saw that this magnet comes in the uh, rest in the direction of north and south. The end facing north is known as north pole, and the end facing the south is called south pole. So this dot, you find a dot there, and there is a and it is without dot. The dot, uh, the dotted end shows geographical north. So it is known as north pole of the magnet. The undotted end shows south pole of the geographical south. So it is south pole of the magnet. Now what happens to the lines of course? Alignment of the lines of forces when north pole is facing north and south pole is facing south. south. Okay. Now just a minute. What is this? North, north pole.